when thinking about uh, initial ideas for my FMP, um, one of mine, I've got lots that I'm going to talk about, but one was the idea of um, looking to my surroundings because I, I do find a lot of inspiration in my surroundings, like when I did my um, crack painting and all my crack work and the idea of uh, the lamppost and things like that, just like spaces being quite special to me. So I was thinking of the idea of um, taking spaces from my everyday life or from um, while I was traveling Southeast Asia and looking at the fragments of like memories of those spaces, the idea of how they're sort of warped in time and how I can only remember certain parts of the spaces and how I've left moments of myself in those areas as I passed through them. And then the idea of how, um, almost like the selfishness around them of how I want to like capture those memories and those places and kind of keep them tucked away inside me forever so I can remember them and look back on my time there. My trapping a poem in a jar work um, and I could sort of work on that idea of like taking moments and like visualizing moments from those spaces and sort of like trapping them and um, locking them away in like different um, processes and that could be quite fun to experiment. Another thing I was thinking of was the idea of um, measuring time because I can't read analog clocks and I've recently been diagnosed with dyslexia um, so there's that sort of new sort of thoughts that are coming into my head but the idea of time um, and how it's measured has always been a weird thing for me because in a lot of my work in the past I've, ex I've explored the fact that I see time as circular rather than linear um, so time future and time past are uh, in time present. And I was thinking of this idea of measuring time through my words. So I come up with the concept of maybe doing like a bullet point a day. So um, using that a day or a week um, time frame, like a certain time frame. So a week, a day, and I do a bullet point every hour or every day um, of just some, like just like a statement or like a word or phrase that like kind of sums up that amount of time. Um, and then with that list of words, work from that and take that as like an initial response and an initial um, inspiration for whatever process may follow. But that's also the idea of like, if I'm measuring time, I could do it as in um, just other ways to measure time other than reading a clock. So if that's things like um, uh, like six, 624 blinks or um, 42 hair fiddles, things like that, just like little moments that I know I do um, that could measure time rather than it being um, from a clock. Kind of experiment with that, um, with the idea of like that same thing where I'm like trapping or using like physical elements to show the passing of time. So like a row of uh, fingernails or things like that that could show passing of time. Another thing I was thinking about would be um, my use of light because I touched on it briefly when I was doing my lamppost experiment work and the idea of how light moves, but I think I could really explore light as being the main um, concept and area for my artwork because um, I really like this idea of making work and then showing it from behind when it's lit from behind. So I did a, I kind of um, briefly look at it when I'm doing my work, it's just a natural thing where I lift it up and hold it to the light, but um, I hold it face so the artwork's facing me, the paper is facing the light, so it almost becomes the paper becomes like translucent. I can see these fragments from the back and it kind of just creates this weird viewpoint of my work. And I th I like the idea of making work, even if it's a collage or a drawing or painting or something two dimensional and then turning it around and viewing it when it's lit from the back. And it's just these fragments of, of the artwork that you can see. And I quite like the idea of, of there's being quite like a ambiguous effect to it. And I could also look at the idea of like um, the movement of light or the behaviours of light and I could just really focus on light and then all my experiments could be around this idea of how light moves, how light is perceived, how I use the light and things like that. That would be quite fun um, to play around with as like that as like a main source to base all of my artwork around which could um, be quite interesting and just quite fun. Another concept that I've kind of had in my mind for quite a while and I'm still not really sure how I would um, go about working with it was this, this idea of my mother's maiden name, so my um, grandma's name, uh, being Crow. And 
just sort of like the the Christianity aspect behind it and the idea of names and what they mean and the fact that because my nan had um, two daughters, that name's just completely lost now other than her distant family. And it could be quite a nice um, word to visualise, the word of crow, because the physicality of a crow, but then also the concepts that are behind it and this idea that because I was born a man, I can never be a crow because it's my, it's like a uh, female name from my nan, from my mum, it's passed down and it's gone. So this idea of that could be quite fun to explore, but I'm still unsure about how I would do that because it's not really as straightforward as my other concepts. But I quite like the idea of doing that and I could do a poem about that and sort of bring that into it. But I do quite like the idea of that maybe not having a poem aspect and that being purely uh, conceptual. And I could explore with like ink and that sort of stuff, but that's very... That's my probably most unsure concept, so I'm not sure if I'll go ahead with that I'm one. I'm thinking about maybe doing um, a series of poems that would kind of um, be about each member of my family, and it could be like um, this idea of moving something uh, internal, external again, or it could be this idea of perception and how I perceive, because a lot of my work is about me, and like my personal identity and things, but I think it'd be quite nice to move on to how I perceive other people and the idea of how I perceive my family because I'm in such close proximity with them and I see them for themselves almost in a way that no one else can because there's such like a tight knit family bond. And I was thinking I could do these poems on each of my members of my family and then move them into different spaces around um, like my hometown and I could do this idea of how trees hold words and how trees are almost like a natural frame for my words or I could um, write my words on like bits of ribbon and tie them around trees so it becomes like this knotted um, area of my words and that idea of like it being something really personal shown in a public space. But those are my initial concepts and and initial ideas but I'm thinking there is quite a a lot of my work has already had this idea of time um throughout basically my entirety of the foundation year but I do enjoy it so that's why I keep coming back to it so I think no matter what one of these ideas I pick or if I merge some of them I think it could end up being quite similar concepts because they are quite similar concepts this idea of trapping time or trapping a space or moments in time in a space that that the, all those ideas kind of sit as one and I could explore all of those as one um but it's just whether I want to do that or if I want to choose one of my smaller more precise concepts um but yeah I'd have to decide that soon <laughs>